Hey guys, what's up? What is up, guys? Ladies, 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 boys, and girls, cruise for there. So, yeah, Mazra building, right? Super dope. And then you guys see the title where it says fake Mazra building. So, I'm a big fan of Mazra buildings. This is a real, genuine Lego Mazra building here. I got some just random dudes sitting about. Um, this is actually my first, um, What's it called? Uh, review up on the channel. The sun is being really annoying. Jesus, give me one second here. Did I get the sun to go away? Uh. Maybe this works. Huh, worked a little bit. All right, so um, this is not genuine Lego. Um, from far away. If you're not looking, you could definitely not tell. But there's a couple of things that give it away that it's not genuine Lego. Of course, this is based on the Town Hall Maldra building, which is one of the most expensive ones that is currently, you know, um, out there. Uh, one of the reasons for it is that it is very big. It is one of the big, tall. I believe it's the tallest Maldra building, if I'm not mistaken. It's not the biggest, uh, I believe... Uh, this one is one of the biggest because it's set on a base plate of two, wait, a base plate and a half. So one base set of 32 times 32 and one of 16 by 32. Um, so this one is, again, much larger. It has a lot more pieces, but this is definitely one of the older ones. Um, but I decided to get it because I love Marjorie buildings. Um, I'm a huge Lego fan. Um, but I would never be able to afford this. I think this goes on cheapest on Brickling for over $800. And that's a ridiculous amount of money. Um, I'm unsure why the modular building goes for this much. It doesn't... Uh, probably the, one of the biggest reasons is going to be the this color of bricks. There's not too many uh, printed pieces that are specialized to this. Other than maybe this one. There's two of these coming in. Um, and I believe... That might be pretty much ever. everything else here is somewhat genuinely common pieces. Uh, these are a nicer uh, color. These are dark green. Um, but I'm not doing a review on this, of course, uh, because it's not genuine Lego. And I'm going to be doing genuine Lego reviews here. If you guys really do want to see it, I'll show you guys what it is. I just wanted to kind of give you guys some interesting, um, like, I. Uh, some views on a set like this um so because modular buildings are super expensive of course this one going over 300 dollars you're going to get a lot of fakes um there's a lot of different other block brands like mega blocks being one of the most popular ones which is um genuinely pretty good nowadays compared to their older you know times i think their mega constructs you know their whole rebranding and everything like that has been absolutely great um, there's Hasbro and all these other small ones, um, but they all are unique and they're not illegal. These are technically pirating. Um, why? Because they steal the ideas of others, specifically Lego and Le Lego creators, and make their own. One of the most famous being Lepin. If you guys don't know what Lepin is, it was a massive fake Lego brand. Um, they basically just would remake them at a cheaper cost, um, and they were not bad i believe i actually have a weapon set if i'm not mistaken you get these are they're not hard to get you can get them on amazon pretty easily i think aliexpress is probably the easiest way to get these even though they have been cracking down a lot of the, uh these fake sets and stuff like that uh they just they, um but stuff like that you know but is it worth it uh, i paid for this building right here about 90 bucks um yeah that is literally like nine what like almost eight times less than the actual set i would be getting it's it's a big big jump man and you could probably get this set out of bricks that i had but you know when it comes to these colors right here this color itself would probably be the most expensive part about this entire set trying to get this color if it was a regular color, then you could build this set, I think, I think pretty cheaply, other than getting maybe specific one of these. Um, but, you know, if you have a large collection, I don't think it'd be too entirely hard to do a lot of this set. Um, but because it's such a big, tall set here, 
uh, you're gonna have a little bit of trouble. So, um, you know, it makes sense why there's a market for this and why there is people buying this because they want modular buildings and they don't want to pay the massive $800 resale value that you see on Bricklink um, for these retired sets. Even for a set like this, you'll probably get it for like 120 bucks. And this set going for 300, I got the set Genu genuine Lego for 200 bucks. Um, and I was missing a couple pieces, um, like literally like five or six. So, which I had all in my collection, which were all really, really easy to get. Um, they're all really common. So for 200 bucks, uh, that's a great deal better than uh, I, I would be able to get on Bricklink even. On Bricklink, you can probably get them for about 230 plus taxes, maybe plus shipping. So you're paying around $250 for a set like this, um, maybe with a couple missing pieces. But again, I got a great deal for this for $200. It's a $300 something dollar set, right? Um, so for $90 for a set like this is insane. Now, what is the quality really like? You can see right away that um, not everything is perfect. Number one, I have these missing um, because they gave me regular gray pieces. I'm not sure if that's part of the actual Lego uh, instructions, but these are nice silver color, and I think I'm just going to order some of these silver color ones. Sorry, guys, it's dust in here. Um, and I just put them here um, just to make it look a little nicer. Um, everything else is pretty spot on in how the actual original thing looks. This itself, though, is basically put on the wrong side. They should be printing this direction, so you have to connect it. It still works perfectly fine, but based on the Lego, it is printed the opposite direction. Lego would be printed this way, and then this entire item will be flipped around. It doesn't make too much of a difference, but there is a difference there. This is an obvious change. Uh, I don't know what the hell this is. This might actually break the clips um, because this is just not the right shape. It's not even. It's not. It doesn't fit right with Lego. Um, this is what they're, it's supposed to look like. Um, this is a genuine Lego piece, pretty lego -y. You know, this just doesn't look like the right thing. I'm going to re be replacing it. this. These, uh, any transparent, uh, usually for most things, it's just, all these things aren't even like clicked down, my bad. Uh, but they look horrible. They're absolutely garbage looking. I'll just replace them with Lego. Um, based on missing pieces, what did I have missing? I was missing, I believe, four bricks in the entire building. There were two, uh, four, two by four bricks. That's it. That was the entire thing I was missing from the entire set. Everything else came, um, which is really good, actually. A lot of these fake buildings, uh, you'll get a ton of just missing stuff. And it's up to luck because it's not as, you know, as good as the Lego stuff is. Um, oh, wait, no. And I believe I lost a piece, which that is on me. I lost one of these garage pieces. That is completely... And utterly on me, I believe I lost it because I was being a dumbass. So um, I was playing around with these uh, way earlier when I was supposed to. And they're clear and I was playing around them and I, I was just literally just clipping them and clipping them out of together because I like them so much. And I probably lost one. So, But yeah, man, um, it it's interesting. Um, extra pieces. There was a bunch of random extra pieces. Oh, there's a hair in there. That's nice. Um, but um, extra pieces um, in here. Wait, is this an extra piece? Yes, okay. All right, so these are the extra pieces. Don't mind my hair, that's my hair. Um, can't get my hair out of there. I dropped a lot of hair, guys. I don't know why. I also built these on my carpet because I don't have space anywhere else to put them. Uh, but there it is. These are the extra pieces. There's some really random stuff in here. I, I looked, um, these are all the extra pieces. I d double, triple checked for this stuff. Could not see them anywhere, but that's the extra stuff. The minifigures, they're okay. Um, they're nothing special. They're not the best. Um, you could probably tell that they're not Lego. Um, they're not as fine as Lego. Like this should technically be there's no piece, like, that's not the perfect piece towards Lego. But they're not bad, man. Unless if you're really touching them and you're and you're a really Lego expert, you can tell. Um, if you look at them closely, 
Uh, his legs are not evenly put in. He's just not the right quality, but I mean, it's not bad. You are definitely having, you are definitely having to actually look at this stuff. Um, to, to generally tell, I, I've never even seen his hair piece. I don't know if the hair piece belongs in Lego. I've never seen it. It looks like garbage though. Oh, look at that. Hmm. But, um, but yeah, it, 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 it's interesting to say the least. Um, is it worth it? If you want a module building and you don't care and you're just going to have it there in the background, why not? Um, yeah, it, it, it sucks. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I think it's better to, to build things, you know, genuine Lego. I support Lego a hundred percent, of course. I, but it's a hard pass and it makes sense why people like this. The quality is, is actually really good. You can tell it's not Lego quality, but it's, it's, it's definitely great. Um, you will be you will see a little bit of gapping because things don't the plates specifically plates aren't perfectly the same um for some reason like um and that's just not on me that's literally just the blocks aren't perfectly fit together but i mean it's 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 very good it's honestly better than i think a lot of genuine real brands now there is a controversy with lepin and all these other sets companies is that they're stealing from a major company which i generally don't think is the best but again it's not the worst because they're a massive corporation even as something like lego which is genuinely a solid company uh you know it's not like ea or something that nobody really cares about because they're generally horrible um massive corporations um but but uh they're also a lot of these fake companies are also known for stealing mo people's mocks and then selling them and then not giving people credit uh but this is not one of them again this is from lego itself once again i'm just seeing all these gaps and stuff like that um but yeah let me know um do you guys think it's worth it also this door won't close um like it it's too loose a lot of the a couple of like door that door is loose that's the only door that for some reason is loose um i mean it looks really good um everything is it works perfectly fine um you guys know this build um it fits perfectly well with with, with uh the other module building um that i have you know it, it's all good and dandy um the printing even in the piece like this is is pretty on point man i, I can't really show you much anything else but let me know what do you guys think? Is it worth buying a, you know, a mock, uh, a fake version of a module building that costs $800 for 90 bucks? You think it's worth it? You're going to have to wait. Um, the bagging itself is actually not bad. There are these little bags. I mean, Japanese, Chinese, some different languages there. Some English, I think. You know, uh, but... And these little bags, uh, the quality is not bad either in here. They even ha they even started to bag them. This is the weirdest part, I think. That's literally the instruction book. It's one little thing. It's not bad. It is honestly, like, not bad. It is clear. It is pretty good. I think the colors are a tiny bit off. Specifically, I think the one color that was throwing me off was brown. Brown just doesn't look the right shape, maybe. Maybe I'm just dumb. Who knows? Maybe like those are supposed to be the two. No, they're different browns, but they're a little hard to tell. So it's it's not the worst, but if I don't think it's as perfect as Lego. Also, these pieces right there, where I'm not gonna show you, are just horrible. They have textured. Regular Lego pieces don't. Um, so that's a little off once again. Uh, but again, I think I guess those are like style choices on the actual like brand or whatever. Not brand. It is. I don't know. It doesn't have any labels. It doesn't say Lego. It doesn't even say module building. It, it will. It doesn't have guard anything, right? Because it doesn't have any branding or whatever. It could honestly still be Lepin, and they just don't have the name or anything. But what do you guys think? You know, would you guys buy a fake Lego building to put next to your other buildings because you're not willing to pay nine eight hundred to nine hundred dollars for a set like this, um, but really really want a set like this? I think the answer is yes. As long as it's not a copy from a mock that you're taking, um, you know, somebody who, who, a genuine person, and I think it's a company like Lego, 
Lego will not be missed. Um, I don't think so. Um, it's up to you, man. Whatever you guys think. I'm not a hater for other blocks. I, but I am a little picky with my blocks. And I do have to say that mostly uh, this passes. I give it about a 90 out of 100. And then the 100 being like Lego up there. Um, and I rate Mega Blocks around an 80 something. Um, so that, that just tells you the quality and like what you're really, what a deal that you're really getting with a set like this. And it's absolutely massive of a build. So let me know what, what do you guys think? Um, if you guys actually want to see a review on this, like a depth review, like I did for that one, I just want to give you guys, you know, ask you guys some questions and, you know, let you guys know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys.